because me and Flower, we just, we don't get along for some reason. All right, all right, all right. Survive, 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 survive. You got a spot, no one can take it If you gotta fit together, we gon' face it I get my love hand to make sure that you make it Ain't too much that I won't do
Hey y'all. I'm making my homemade softened butter spread. This is a new thing that I've kind of been doing more recently because I did buy like a store-bought version. I was just like, I can literally make this at home. I have everything here. So, and just in this container, sits in the fridge. I could put this in several of my dishes and it just saves time and adds a lot more flavor when needed, especially all the bread that I eat <laughs> because I have been detoxing the past several days. It's been several days since I've had my vices. So that's when I mean by detoxing and stuff like that because my body just is used to what it's used to. And I know that certain foods just don't agree with me anymore. Just with having eating them for so many years. But just things that are more flavorful like this that I can put on stuff to jazz it up because we are not bland over here at all. But I have the softened butter. I use one stick, and this is how much you get in it. Some Parmesan cheese, some peppers, salt, oregano, parsley, garlic, and onion powder. So it's really good on flatbreads, pita, regular bread. The bread that I have now is rosemary and sea salt. You got it at a local grocery bakery section. So I usually like to have this very well incorporated just so that the bits are able to settle in equally. Because at the bottom kind of sticks stuff like that so I mix it for a while and then I just plop it back into the fridge and usually if I know I'm going to need it I take it out so that way it can be this consistency but if you just take it out of the fridge it's not spreadable like this it has to be in the softened butter state but you can also just you know grab it out and it'll form crumbles so you could just you know break some part sprinkle it on whatever you want but yeah if you guys don't want to pay for spreadable butter if that's your thing says they homemade one and no I don't have any measurements besides the one stick of butter softened it's just I'm an eyeball chef <laughs> always have been and I think always will be but I am becoming more tactical about the estimated situations because flavor is flavor to me if you like your stuff more liquidy what was I saying because I ran out of storage yeah when it comes to measurements if you want things thicker as opposed to the more liquidy side just add less liquid and more things to thicken it. You can thicken things with cornstarch, honey, all that good jazz. So, do what you want. That's the thing about food. You know, you can over salt something for sure, but just consider seasoning as you go, tasting as you go, and being sure that if you know you can't stand too much heat, pay attention to the recipes, especially if you're following one. If they have more spice, but you know that you don't like heat, just bring it back a little. Don't, you don't have to go exact to the recipe. 
you know what you want to taste and just go with the flow with that right so this is what it's like all flattened out i will put this in the fridge and actually see what if it needs anything I can still taste a little bit of the sea salt grains. I put a little bit of pepper in this one because garlic and pepper and butter is just great to me. Parmesan cheese, you taste it later on a little bit. Parsley flakes, the oregano, really nice addition. It doesn't lean Italian though, because all of the things that I mentioned are in Italian dishes. But if you put more garlic and onion powder in it, as opposed to the parsley and the oregano, it just gives a nice balance without it feeling like you only can put it on or in Italian things, if that makes sense. It's a well-balanced overall type of butter spread. Pop this in the fridge again. And since I've been relaxing for two whole days, I've kind of gotten a little bit stir crazy because I'm used to having company and now that I'm just by myself, it's like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> sort of thing. But I needed this time in my own space again, but we will see. I'm probably just going to kick back in the living room because I've been in bed all day, pretty much. After y'all saw the me watching the boxing in bed, I've literally been in bed all day. And I decided to just put something on. And just now I'm gonna chill on the couch. <laughs> Nothing different, it's just the change of location, pretty much. Just another random. Pretzels have been helping me with the chip craving. And I dip it in Dijon mustard. And I think for 16 pretzels it's only 110 calories so I think that's pretty decent and there's no trans fat there's no cholesterol there's a little bit of carbs it's mostly sodium and here's the thing with people here's the misconception to me when it comes to sodium if you see other cultures cooking, fermenting, preserving things, they are heavily salted and their life expectancy is pretty much longer than those in the States, right? So if people here and the doctors here tell you stay away from the sodium, this, that, and a third, then what's going on with the other people? in their cultures that are heavily seasoned, heavily salted dishes. What is your excuse for those people? That's what I'm saying when it comes to the standards or the statistics and so forth. Listen to your own body and understand what it agrees with and what it doesn't agree with and go from there. Don't base it off of, because some people can take a lot of sodium especially athletes, especially those that are, have an active lifestyle. Sure, anybody who is stagnant is going to tack on more things if they're not as active. That's just a normal thing. However, it's a balance. It truly is. So for this to be an alternative for me right now, I am kind of liking it. I do always feel like in the back of my mind, like go to the store, get some chips, go to the store, get some chips no because <laughs> i heard recently and it does make sense that someone said pick your heart it's hard to feel like a blub of lard as opposed to you actually feeling nice about how you look now people i just in real life okay real life people tell me i'm cool <laughs> but to me 
it's not what I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? So I'm never gonna be a stick, of course, but with my cooking and so forth, it I need to have a balance with a lot of things. And staying active. So there's that. You gotta pick a struggle. I'ma still cook. We're transforming into a chef low key. And that's just is what it is. And we're not going to be just out here willy nilly with the body. No. Because I got one body. And I need to pay attention to it. Just like I'm telling y'all. Pay attention to your body. So I listened to these fads. So listening to what these human error people in the healthcare system. Because I promise you. Working with students, this is no shade. Working with students in the healthcare system, I had to look after them. They are, <laughs> they love their white claw. I'm not, I'm not generalizing, this is just my experiencing. They love their white claw and their liquor. They love their Adderalls and they love their other prescription farm parties. I don't care. I, if I expel somebody, if the shoe fit, wear it. These people that in the sick model that take care of y'all are the most drugged up people <laughs> you will probably meet. And I worked at three universities to understand that, okay? In higher ed, college, not only me being a college student myself, but I worked at three. I understand what they have to go through to stay up and I know what they have to go through to have some fun because they're students. Okay? Total tangent. Clearly on board. I'm sorry. All because of sodium. See where my mind goes? It just doesn't stop because people just don't have a wide scope. Get it together. Yeah? Okay, let me hush. Did y'all notice that it's getting darker earlier? I need to prep my psyche. Luckily, I have friends that will help me during this time that I haven't had recently. But it's just, it's so hard to do things in the winter. It's hard for me to travel in the winter because it's just, I just be cold nowadays. I, I hate it, but it's whatever. I'm real random right now. Sorry, I'm going to get back up and show y'all this cake that I made. This storage thing is getting on my nerves. Anyway, let me set y'all up again in the kitchen. Hold on. Not y'all being crooked now. Wait. Now, I'm going to show y'all. Because it's already been demolished. Because <laughs> I told my brother and my niece to take a slice when they came over. But my mama had a couple slices. So did I. No games. Okay. So that's half of it, right? Look at the top. Look at that. Especially if y'all don't follow my Instagram. This is one sexy mother effing picture on there, okay? And it tastes just as good. It's sexy. Oh, it's so dang all good. But I have it in the fridge so it can last longer. Because I just don't want the humidity and everything to attach to it and so on. But things like this I have been making over the past two weeks. Been making desserts. You got got rice crispy treats with pretzels on because I had a whole idea to like cover it with chocolate too woo, woo. Mm -hmm. this is just a baking tip I use right now because my mom has a plethora of them and she just brings one when she visits is cake mix I don't do my own cake mixes yet because me and flour we just we don't get along for some reason. 
even though a lot of people say it's foolproof to me I just I don't care right now but <laughs> anyway it's easier for me to just get in the habit because I used to be a baker like I was the baker of the family now I'm the cook and the chef of the family now I'm doing both however when it comes to the cake mixes and you'll notice in my directions with my food videos you'll notice that I replace everything water in my potato dishes in my noodle dishes pasta cake replace where it says with water with either buttermilk depending on the flavor almond milk depending on the flavor or heavy whipping cream now you're not gonna put almond cream in your pasta dishes you know what I mean so heavy whipping cream for the pasta almond milk for the cakes buttermilk maybe for chocolate cakes I've noticed that to be good especially with brownies yes use milk for the quantity of the water that they ask you to do and for those <laughs> there are some cake mixes that say just use the egg whites child I don't I use the whole egg you know no I don't care about what color comes out oh it's supposed to be a white cake I don't care have it golden brown that's always me I'm a golden brown girl figuratively in cooking wise <laughs> and literally you know what I'm saying so things like that make it your own hell some people just want to use the actual egg yolks that's fine do what makes you happy and make it your own that's always my rule of thumb make stuff your own that's the only reason why I don't really do measurements and so forth just make it your own okay I promise enough with the jibber jabber I'm chilling for the rest of the night so see you at the final day of my relaxation weekend
had to say this. After I got out of the shower, mind you, I was in the middle of watching the movie 300. I never knew they came out with another one. It's on Netflix. I said, seven years later, y'all made a sequel. Like, I'm mad late to the party, but let me just say this real quick. In the biblical times, that's why I like the movie 300. Because it really does put you and immerse you into how they used to fight back in the day. And I'm talking about biblical times. You know how intimate it has to be for you to set somebody up? Like, literally in combat. Like, you are, you got to be nice with the sword what like <laughs> no mind you i understand it, i'm not even gonna go too deep with that but just know that the fallen have given the weapons to the people to do the wars and all the jazz i'm just saying when you had to use it to protect your own and protect your gates they said hold on they said not in my house what'd you say bitch <laughs> you know what I'm saying like they were at it they went in ham turkey sausage all that they went all the meats <laughs> they're not playing and that's why I like the movie that little burst of energy that was the most I have given in a few days or I'm just old one or the other I don't mm.